I'm Dr. Dan and we're talking antioxidants. Now this won't be a college level course, so don't worry about that. But we will we do need to mention that, that your their cells use a process called oxidation reduction in order to move electrons along to produce products called like ATP that the cells use for energy. Now during this process you can build up certain uh, products in the cell that can be toxic and your body has natural protective agents called antioxidants that help take care of these, these, uh, these products. The key antioxidants that you need to know about, vitamin C, vitamin E, glutathione, uh, superoxide dismutase or SOD, or um, N-acetylcysteine, otherwise known as NAC. Uh, these are the, the key ones, there are others, including things like uric acid and whatnot, but we're going to discuss that, that short list. Now, glutathione is um, the key antioxidant. It actually helps activate the others. So, keeping those levels of it is, is, uh, is crucial. Um, you really can't supplement this the way you can with some other types of um, products like vitamin C or vitamin E because your body breaks it down into its component amino acids. But we can use things like LifeWave patches or um, something like uh, Apex Energetics recycler, glutathione recycler, because this actually helps your body to keep that glutathione in a, in a healthy state. So keeping those levels at, uh, after optimum is, is key for you. Now vitamin C, lots been written on vitamin C, and to break it down, you know, sometimes we recommend taking four to five or even six or eight grams of this a day, but generally speaking, one to two grams a day is sufficient, and you should split that out morning and night. It's a very cheap, easy to take supplement, not a, not a problem for most people. Vitamin E, again, lots been written over that, about that over the last 40, 50 years, but uh, we recommend uh, four, to, four to 800 um, IUs of vitamin E a day. Some people recommend a lot more than that, but depending on your own physiology, a lot more can, may not be beneficial. Those, uh, those moderate levels seem to do the trick. Now with uh, SOD and NAC, um, you know, those are included in a lot of the other products that we sell here at uh, Vitamin Pro. So getting a little bit of that each day will, will be beneficial for you. So the bottom line here is that if adding these, uh, these important uh, antioxidants to your daily uh, supplement regimen will, will help you and will keep you healthy longer. And people who uh, you know, if we don't do that, they're going to have more damage from the chemicals and, and the pollution and, and stress and electromagnetic radiation around them than you are. And, they're, you know, as time goes on, you're going to notice that they're going to age more rapidly than you do who uh, take these modest amounts of antioxidants. So that's, uh, that's the basics. Hopefully that was helpful for you, and look forward to hearing from you.